I hope I get a chance to talk about that gospel another time. It's, it's just loaded with uh, explanations that are required for us to understand. But I cannot avoid the Book of Wisdom. Our first reading today, I don't know if it did the same to you, but every time I listen to or read from the Book of Wisdom, it's like candy. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. It's something to look forward to and get excited about. After being here in Halifax now for a few months, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by the natural beauty around us. The natural beauty around us. This whole province, this whole province is full of natural beauty. Everywhere we look, there's water. There's lakes, there's rivers, there's streams. Even the ocean itself is visible from much of the peninsula. The rolling hills, the lush lush greenery of the trees. There's even like this salty taste in the air that I've never experienced living in Ontario. It's wonderful. When the leaves were changing color in October, there were these explosions of yellow and orange and red everywhere that I could see, all across the horizon. It was stunning. The spectacular sight of the sunset over the water is something to get excited about and look forward to. Even countless artists spend their life trying to recreate these images, these beautiful landscapes of nature, so that we may enjoy them on the walls or in our homes all year round. In today's first reading in the Book of Wisdom, we hear about the beauty of creation. The writer reminds us that we must, quote, pay heed to the beautiful works of the world. We must also recognize, though, him who is the one artisan of these spectacular sights. To recognize the one artisan of these spectacular sights. As we look in awe at creation every day, we cannot forget who the Creator is. That as we marvel at the power and the grandeur of the ocean and waterfalls, the tornadoes and hurricanes, and the stars in the sky, we must remember how much more powerful, how much more powerful and grand is the Lord, the author of all these things, the one who formed them and gave them the power that they have. Our reading from Wisdom today reminds us that from the beauty and greatness of all created things should come our first perception and understanding of our Creator. It is from the beauty and greatness of created things that that should be the beginning of our perception and understanding of God. Who He Himself is powerful beyond imagination, more beautiful and inspiring than any painting or experience of nature. Wow. Wow. This provides tremendous insight to us, the creatures, of how beautiful our Creator is. It reveals to us so much about who God is. For even those who do not read the Bible, who do not have any faith tradition, when they look out at nature and creation, God speaks to them. God reveals Himself to them, who He is, characteristics about who He is, that our God is powerful, our God is beautiful, our God is grand, Our God is an artist. Our God is a genius. Our God is generous. Our God provides everything we need in abundance. With all these obvious sights all around us, God wants us to know Him. To know that He exists for us and for our needs, that He will provide for us. We often need to be reminded of this. When you think of your life, our lives, we spend so much time learning about and investigating some things. Think about sports. We get to know all the players, their statistics, their history, the last time they won a championship. We get to know everything about them, their favorite plays, what they're good good at, what their specialty is. We know so much about them. 
think about celebrities and the rich and the famous, we get to know all of their lives. We love to consume their gossip and see it on newspapers and in the news. We consume that. We get to know the history of events, all the details of events like the Halifax explosion over a hundred years ago, or the history of a country. We fill ourselves with all the information and backstories of television shows, the history of movies that come out in their series of movies. We spend years and years studying, learning, and investigating what our career will be, our trade, our profession. We get to know so much about that. And in the Book of Wisdom today, it is telling us, I have given you, God has given us this ability to learn, to investigate, to analyze and remember so much. But the first purpose of that gift to learn, investigate, and analyze is so that you can learn, investigate, and analyze nature and see that I am the Creator. That is the reason we have been given this wisdom, this knowledge, this ability to rationalize, to learn, to investigate. Our first reason for having this is to get to know that God exists and who God is. Wisdom concludes our reading on a harsh remark, and I'd like to point this out because we've heard about this maybe even if we've been following the news or even our Governor General's statements. The Book of Wisdom tells us, it says that the learned of the world are foolish if they try to disprove God's existence. The learned of the world are foolish if they spend any time trying to disprove God's existence. If those, if anyone has eyes to see and a mind to learn, they are called to affirm to affirm by the abundant proofs out in nature the presence of God among us. He gives us countless signs. We don't need a degree or any speciality to see in nature that God exists. That's why God was so abundant in His creation, so overwhelming in His beauty, so that we don't need any experience. All we need to do is... Receive life and open our eyes and we will see that God is there and he provides for us out of his abundance. He has surrounded us by these proofs. In fact, wisdom implies, the book of wisdom, this passage implies that the learned, those educated, those gifted in those ways of investigation and analysis and science, the learned are called to show those who do not yet see or understand these signs, who the artist is behind those picturesque landscapes. To reveal to others, their job is to reveal to others the creator behind creation, so that we may all marvel at him whose power and whose beauty is beyond any expression. May you and I be those guiding lights of the learned to our family and our, to our friends, to anyone who we meet who may have doubt, who may not yet see the hand of the artist in the beauty of creation.